Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves 2 as Austria-Hungary episode number 24, 5, 3. Uh, let's address one thing that the comments have so graciously pointed out. We are not building enough submarines. Off by, f you know, building 12 is not the same as building 20, so we'll get another 8 more. That should satisfy that acquire requirement. Let's just verify that this math is correct. Yeah, now it is. Okay, well, I mean, my, might as well, right? I I use it as a, I'll lean on it as an excuse for leaning on the submarine victories. It's not that I, look at I my hands were tied. They, they forced me to build more submarines. But in reality, it's, it's like strategically, it's a really sound decision in this game. to just a massive, massive submarine group. Anyways, I didn't do anything off camera. Between this and War on the Sea, I, I always forget which ones I'm supposed to be doing save game editing or game file editing, whatever that is. So I tried not to do any of that. Um, yeah, go ahead, Italy. Take whatever you want. Except for that thing that I don't want you to take. 1% weight savings on toll. Somebody pointed out, thankfully, uh, again, this is great. I love the comment section for the Rule the Waves videos. Uh, mostly because I understand, like I, when I understand a game to a deep enough degree that I'm not intimidated by erroneous comments, or I, I would say I'm not bullied. It's not that they're bullying, but you know, everyone on the internet is trying to be right. And I'm, you know, myself included, I fall into that trap. Uh, but anyways, the weight here is the whole. So the weight 1% will not amount to total weight. I mean, you can see this is, well, okay. In, <laughs> in this case, it happens to be the majority of the weight, but there should be, oh, right. <laughs> what the heck am I doing here? Here we go, this is a better example. So 9,000, but the horsepower is this. Uh, the armor is, this much, so more than the whole. And is that correct? Yeah, so total armor is 11,000, weight was, it's less than, and that doesn't include this, which is 2,700. So I guess the turret armor is, where is the turret armor? Ah, yeah, this is the weight right here. <laughs> so that's a lot of weight, that's like another 10,000 right there just for the turrets, damn, that's, well, I guess it includes, I, I suppose it includes like the magazine storage underneath, all that stuff, so. Yeah, even the secondary. So all these things add up to 38,000, right? So we have, you, we can do the accounting. It's funny to me, but somehow I've never sat and dissected what, what exactly contributes to this number. Like what is the math? Total armor plus hull weight plus uh, turrets plus ammo weight plus secondary guns, plus tertiary guns, plus torpedoes. So all of this should be bundled somewhere. Is it bundled somewhere? 10,000? No, I don't think so. 10,000 does not seem like enough. 10,000. What is this 28%? So now I, I'm looking at things for the first time. 30%. Is this total... 31? 30. Maybe this is the armored bonus. 12, 335. Or is this the amount of the total weight? 30%. It looks like that's about right. That's about 30%. 12,000 is about 30% of 39,000. Um, and this is slightly lower. Yeah, it makes sense. So then if we go to flat top, it should, our slope zone should go higher. Okay, so that's just the total percentage. Got it. Well, supposedly. I can't, I shouldn't, you know, I need to make sure I'm not saying things as definitive truth when they're just um, educated guesses. So where the hell is the rest of the whatever? Because the whole, okay, 10,000. So we have 30, yeah, okay, so we have... Like 25, 30, and 28. I'm just going to call this. Um, 
65, 70. It's like 80. Sorry. Math is wrong. 30, 20, 20. Yeah, it's about 80%. So we're missing 20% of the weight. Armament, 10,000. It must be this is armament. So this is slightly less than 10,000 plus 2,700. Um, let's call this 600, 700. That's only, it's like 9,300 plus 2,700 is definitely more. So let's just look. I'm mean, going to do a quick, if I drop this, does armament change? It does not. Oddly enough, armament includes the money for the rounds per gun, but it doesn't include the ammo weight. This is a confusing system. Uh, accommodation space, that's fine. These are very minor. Yeah, they don't have a one number which encompasses all the, the right columns, which is, you know, is a lot of details are needed to be done over here, but I would think that all of this could be compiled into, well, armament, really. Anyway, what was I even trying to do with all that? Because we're not gonna build anything right now. I mean, despite the 1% gains that we are continually getting, we already launched the Prince class, well, already started construction on her. I don't know if you'd be able to do anything like, you know, two, what are, what are we in? We're about eight, oh, six months. Wait, months left? These are almost done, oh my gosh, it's fantastic. So we, we actually are about to have a lot of money available and then we can build another battleship, which considering the time is probably the last battleship of the game. Now, hear me out here. I am right now thinking of building that as the last battleship of the game. And then what will we be building in the future is the kind of obvious question. And not just carriers, of course, but I think that cruisers might get a lot of benefits moving forward, relatively more important changes than battleships. So that's my rationale right now. Hooray, I did something correct for once. Um, armor development, inclined belt. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll let them have that. Um, our new flying boat, Berg, is ready for operational service. Additions during development has made it somewhat sluggish. Uh, well, that's not good. That's not good at all. Not good at all. Let's find out what they mean. Okay, so if I wanted to do a comparison of the float plane scouts, we have two in existence, and the first one is pretty much in every way better. That's insane, considering it's two years older, but it is just simply better. Okay, the one difference is this one can carry 500 pound heavy bombs versus only 250. Um, one 250 pound bomb on heavy bomb load. When have I ever used float planes for, I don't think I've ever used a float plane scout in an attack roll. Uh, it's not that they can't be, I mean, they, they can be, and maybe that's a failing on my part. I should probably consider doing that. However, I think that because there's so many other benefits to this, longer range and faster speed, we're just gonna obsolete this other one. I like to have a smaller list here anyway. Why complicate things? And from a manufacturing standpoint, one, having one type of airplane that you're trying to supply for versus two is, is should be simpler. You know, tool all those machine fact, machine part factories for exactly one type of machine. Fighters, we only have one which is as ancient as my float plane. Probably this is the, so it looks like we're requesting a medium bomber. We have four months, four months left on that, but fighter needs to be next. This is the Berg 44. She is indeed now slower than the Aviatic 40. There is effectively a better range. Now, what about this flying boat, which is, yeah, well, this one is, wow, those stats actually, 447 is pretty good. Look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let all of them exist for now because none of them is really that much better than the others. So for exactly the you know same reason that I mentioned, having only one, <laughs> no, uh, from the other perspective, we could say we're experimenting with the idea of going with a, a solo 
uh, a solo model in a category, in a role, versus diversifying and having like redundancy. If one ends up showing up parts failures, we get, you know, the other one moved in. I don't think that, honestly, I think of the two approaches, having one model per role is more efficient, but, you know, I mean, like if this was real life, it would be better to have these different flying boats because you could actually put them into different positions where they would excel. We don't have that option. They all serve in exactly the same manner. We don't even get to choose which ones go where anyway. Although this one is average. That's one of the reasons to keep it around as well. Average reliability is pretty good, despite saying average. Yeah, you know, it's kind of weird that they say average. I guess it shouldn't be a average or poor or good or whatever. It's because average is not average. There's no, it's not like you're an average. It's an average over time over like it's a temporal average, including future planes, which doesn't really make sense because we shouldn't have knowledge of what reliability is of future planes. Should probably be changed to something like, I don't know, like some kind of number. How good are, and probably under the hood, it's a number. <laughs> if nothing else, it's zero, or one, two, and three, you know, but the gift of gab. Too many, too many comments. Okay, so we're finishing some stuff. Okay, large aircraft carrier, that's probably what we need. Purpose built, is that the same? All right, how many are here? And so how many do we need to move? Um, you are the... 1916, 1926. So there are 11 here. So we will move 11 into Northern Europe. How many are here? Seven. So we shall move seven over there. And I'm gonna just, sorry, one minor things switched up like this so that the full bottom of the list can just go in there. I believe that they will come out in Northern Europe again. So we can just rebuild. These have already been refit. And likewise for you, we'll just rebuild because I think that your class has also been refit. That keeps everyone on the same model, which makes it easier to replenish all of them at the same time. Um, we have some active fleet fools, which we don't need an active fleet. Lots of active fleet fools. How much is this going to say? 4417. 4417. So I'd say about 300. That's, that's worth it, in my opinion. That's, I mean, any little bit is technically worth it, but from the perspective that that was a that was this not a not insignificant change we'll mothball the corvettes any corvettes that are not in northern europe at least and that looks good to me you know what yes i just don't want to bother <laughs> we'll take the unrested which we didn't actually take this time that's nice and now our tonnage is fine, so we're good. Okay, good. Now, what else do we need to do? Because I'm getting a little, I'm losing track of things a little bit. We have the quality 115 inch guns with the increased elevation here. Looks good. We should have the same thing here quality 115 inch guns with increased elevation. I mean, we're missing improved director, but otherwise, these are really good battleships. And I mean, they, they really are good battleships, even despite that. The O'Donnells have quite outlived their <laughs> usefulness. Again, I'm probably gonna try to push them for one more. I mean, if you if I was gonna scrap them, I should have scrapped them at the beginning of this. Do I make the decision to finally put them to rest? Oh man, it's tough. They, as a whole, take 250. That's less than the difference between the reserve fleet, I'm sorry, the. Yeah, the reserve fleet and active fleet destroyers. Which is to say basically nothing. Oh man. Are the question is, are they more of a liability than they are a protection against blockade? Let me just do some some analysis of Germany. 
and Great Britain, France, Italy, like the Mediterranean people. We don't have to worry about Russia for this. We probably don't have to worry about Germany too much. It's just that they do actually have colonies in the Mediterranean. So I, I probably do need to treat them as a colonial uh, Mediterranean power, which is weird to think about, but it's the truth. Okay, so we are way short. We'll, we'll have five to their seven, and they have a battle cruiser coming out as well. Um, five battleships. So we'll be short on armored crew, but a lot of this stuff is going to stay in Northern Europe, which, by the way, is going to present its own set of problems. I guess if we manage to avoid evasion, invasion, but we're probably within, oh, we might not be within invasion range, depending on what their technology is. Okay, well... For once, that's a very good thing. Not that we're going to go to war with Germany. They appear at this point to be the least likely option. I, I just, you know, the expansion is going to come out with um, inter, I mean, wars between different powers and all that. I think this system could be so well done. I can brainstorm so many ideas. Like, for example, um, having an option for the player to, like, move towards a side in an existing war and all that. That would just be so fun. Some of that stuff would be beyond the, you know, Secretary of the Navy's um, abilities, but, but some of it might not be. If you were able to say, hey, if you, like, the, they might come to you and say, we're thinking about moving towards this side or moving towards that side. What does the Navy think? Or, you know, there's, there's probably some historical reason why, like, let's say World War I. Germany decided to continue to build up against the British, and this shipbuilding was, okay, the Kaiser was stubborn, but in theory, <laughs> in theory, uh, Turpis probably had a say about, yeah, it probably had a say about whether this was going to be done. And then that would be, well, that was before war, though. Hmm. Hmm. During war, what would it be? Anyway, while I debate that in my head, uh, thinking about things on camera, always extremely dangerous, prone to error. Let's just go ahead and refit these Von Mercats. It's just, they survive so well, these protected cruisers. They just keep on going. And with the 2.52, I mean, these are splinter resistant. Oh, we can actually add some mines to this too, which is almost worth more than their torpedoes, if you ask me. So I will do that. Yeah, we'll just do it just like that. And the Mozarts probably need to be refit now because let's just do refit. Yeah, they have, I mean, we can put a ton, a ton of mines on this. And by a ton, I mean, what is this gonna be? 48 tons of, <laughs> it's 48 tons. Not just a ton, a ton of tons or 48 tons to be exact. And 48 tons of mines per ship, that's that's a good number. We're going to be fiercely protecting our Mediterranean territory. Um, because these are cramped accommodation, short range, so they are not going to leave the uh, Mediterranean, but cramped, short range, universal, yeah, that's all fine. So we will rebuild them. No, wait a second, did I already do increase? Okay, I did. So yeah, then yes, rebuild. I just, yeah, save that one <clears throat> to go ahead and rebuild. Did I do it for the other ones? I don't remember if, the, I mean, we have, the whole fleet is under repairs right now, but it's a good time to do it. Tensions are low. Did I get the Von Mercats 1927 to have increased elevation? Damn it. Okay, that's fine. It's a minor oversight. We'll just have to send them right back into the shop after this. You would think you could make that change. Could I, like, can I cancel? <clears throat> no, nah, I mean, there's a, we've sent them all, the order of bureaucracy will not stand for a second order given to these ships. It'd be nice if you could cancel their refit. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat, throat's bothering me a little bit. Take a drink of water. And I'll do that at the same time I hit enter. Secondary director, oh my gosh, send all the ships back. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my gosh, dual purpose mounts. Okay, wow, this is a big turn. They got its peacetime. And this is really cool that we're getting like the World War One to World War II break. When was our last war? Like 
three, 1922. I guess we can tell the last time we had a, a ship sunk. Yeah, 1923. Note that in that last war with the British, the only ship that I lost was a Corvette sunk by a British submarine. Now that is really some terrifying news if you're the British. <clears throat> if you went through a whole war and lost it horribly to the point where, you know, the government collapsed and the only damage you did to the enemy navy as the Royal Navy, supposedly the world's elite navy, the only thing you did was sink a Corvette with a submarine. Well, you'd have some accounting to do, I think. <clears throat> Okay, so let's not miss another opportunity to increase the gun elevation. Uh, we also have better guns than this. Wow, okay, a jump from... It is this question, though. Have these outlived their usefulness? And in one sense, the answer is no. I, one sense is no, because we have them now as, a, as the fleet carrier. But in the other sense, yeah, so... <clears throat> do these just, do they go away? Do I rebuild them? How many do these have? 16 aircraft is way too low. Okay, I am going to make the move to scrap these. And I should have done this a while ago, but at least they were only costing me 88 per. Rationale for this. Always, what is Tortuga thinking? These are much more of a liability, surprisingly, but real, um, than the battleships. Because of the kind of in uh, battle generated battle generator the battle generator is always to blame right so the battle generator will pick and pick up these armored cruisers and throw them into any kind of cruiser engagements which could be up against battle cruisers or enemy armored cruisers or at this point probably more likely enemy heavy cruisers and those are so slow they won't be able to run away at least if you get the o'donnells more than likely they'll be paired as we've already seen with um, some of your heavier battleships so you can kind of hide them or if you want you can use them as decoys well, there was a brief interruption here, but we're back at it now. I'm sure that these lie, uh, like the interruption of a train of thought is more frustrating for you than it is for me. But unfortunately, that's the way things go at the Tortuga's household. So what what possibly would I have been talking about? I think I was talking about how scrapping those armored cruisers, um, which we, we now should probably think about what are we going to replace those with. And I'm putting things on reserve fleet right now just because, well, why the heck am I doing that? <clears throat> I wanted to save their crew quality, but we're so far away from war. I don't see any reason why we should do that. Okay, so we'll mothball all these. And we are quite low on money, although again, that's only going to happen for another two months. Oh my gosh, we're... Oof. Yeah. So I was talking about the battleships, building battleships versus building light like, cruisers, or something like that, and how you get proportional higher gains from the later technology on your cruisers than you do on your battleships. And I do think that's true, because mostly what the battleships need to do is shoot big guns and essentially just use tonnage as hit points. We already have the tonnage. So the main thing for us is just, just build them with, with good guns. And well, I mean, we have 16 inch guns. We have quality one 15 inch guns, which we've already put out. I think we'd prefer the 16 inch guns because they will in theory get better later. Also, there's the technicality that the 15 inch guns are the first to go to the slowest rate of fire or the second slowest, I forget. Now, I don't, I've kind of started to ignore this because of the alleged hard cap rate of fire of four per minute um, on guns. <clears throat> and actually four per minute sounds like it's pretty quick firing. At one, you know, a 16 inch barrage every 15 seconds. It might've been lower than that. Maybe it's three to every 20 seconds. I don't know how fast that they were loading and firing, like in Iowa, but every 15 or 20 seconds seems a bit fast, I have to say. Especially as they always point out, there's a difference between training and war. You know, when you're prepping mentally, you sit down, you know it's an exercise, and you go. 
Um, that's a lot different than, hey, suddenly in the middle of the night, you're, the klaxon's blaring and you scrambled over to your position. The drone's rushing and, you, you know, in one sense that makes you more physically capable, but mentally dis disorganized. And uh, I think the latter of those two ends up being more net negative of an effect on your rate of doing anything. Okay, let's just advance a turn. Superimposed, so speak, look at the timing of this. Man, it's like, uh, it's perfect. So just as we scrap some of our old armored cruisers, we now have superimposed turrets on heavy cruisers. The new medium bomber prototypes are ready for evaluation, good timing. I'm sure that any of these will be better, oh my goodness. So remember, I did go for speed and I think reliability or something like that. So the fact that our range is comparable is just a really good thing because that should be like the worst part of these new medium bombers. And indeed we see that some of them have quite low range. The top one we can write off just immediately. There's no advantages to it. I'm sorry, Mag. We've used you for several aircraft, but in this case, we're definitely not going to. You could save this to file. Ooh. The skivvies, huh? I don't know why you would do that, but it's, let me do it, I guess, test. And this is me bomb prototype. Why not? Let's see what the file looks like. <laughs> I don't know why, but if they give you the option. So yeah, anyways, all of these are better than the original one. The top one is debatable just because of the range, but again, it's not just the range, it's how fast you can get there. Um, the bottom one is the most appealing because immediately I see cruise speed is a bit lower than the middle option. I mean, these are the two we're considering, right? These are both just, I would say, just straight up strictly better than the Lloyd 34. The Phoenix Aviatic is what I'm leaning towards despite the lower cruise speed. Oh, maybe not. This, this has the lower cruise speed and the higher range, but I, I think that this one is still pretty good range. Now, it is important to consider that if we want these things to drop heavy bombs, we want them to have that extra range. That's something I didn't really think about enough. Um, maybe I will go with this one. So 90 versus 95. It's just, it's much, much faster. The max speed again, only used in combat. So not too important. I mean, in, in, you know, this one is just better in combat situations. It's slightly faster. A lot of things are going its way. But the extra range, that's an extra 24 nautical miles. <clears throat> yeah, and that could make a difference. So this is, I can also think of it this way, this is a strict upgrade from the Lloyd 34, whereas this technically a downgrade in terms of range. So we'll go with the, the last one here, but I, I think either one would have been a good decision. Okay. What is this, one more month? Oh man, in one more month, we're gonna be freeing up so much crap. Now, the Northern Europe people have to be, yeah, you can go to reserve or mothball. Should only be two situ or two um, options for these guys, either mothball or active fleet. Rashers can stay on reserve fleet because they're my, my precious favorites. Are we building new destroyers though? I think we are. Yeah, the Metternich, which is even better with nine torpedo tubes. <clears throat> I know it's kind of desperate times in terms of money. Excuse me, sorry. I, I hate clearing my throat on camera, but I gotta remember to like pause and then do it. Yeah, and now it looks like the next candidate for us would be some kind of battle cruiser or heavy cruiser or some kind of fast cruiser or capital ship. A fast capital ship. <clears throat> ah, I just forgot. Anyway, uh, the yeah. Let me one sec. Okay, that's better. Um, I, I, I think it's going to have to be a heavy cruiser, which I'd, I'd loathe. So we could make a fast battleship, though. We could do this. We could do something a little bit different. This would be super expensive, but it would kind of replace... OK, 
Okay, let's try how, first of all, we need to figure out how much weight is being spent. Um, so I need to make this reasonable first. Let's put the belt down to 11, deck down to four, conning tower way down. Turret at 13.5 is still fine. Turret top at five, secondary is down to two. This is fine. No tertiaries yet, although dual purpose, but we'll want them with four inch guns. Maybe we will do those. No, no, these are, these are not light cruisers. Clear the torpedoes. Um, we'll worry about this later. Let me just drop this down for the tonnage. So, okay, so we have something. And this is three, two, two, three. I think I'm gonna go with a three turret configuration. Let's get rid of the aft superimposed. Go with a 333. Okay, so we are looking at like an Iowa type configuration now. Now let's just see how much the total weight is. So this is a 700, sorry, 850 increase. And then it's a thousand. And before that it's 600, so 600, 800, 1,000. Actually, it's 1,001, it's 1,100. 28 is all we need to get to the the good stuff. Um, the fast attack classification, which gives you the, um, the inclusion and cruiser battles. So we can make this work. We could just go down to 15 inch guns and I think that that's what we'll do. Just gonna save us, man, only a thousand, huh? I mean, I'm saying only a thousand. Let's drop this down because this is kind of what we're thinking about doing. Okay, that, dropping this down by 500 only saved us 200 weight, so didn't seem that useful. Um, now, if we're looking here, so now going to 29 costs us thousand. Yep, still 800, so it looks like the same kind of thing, which is unusual. Why would the, shouldn't be the same engine. 800, huh, 1,000. I'm hoping we can get to some place where that breaks. Okay, 800, okay, so 800. Aha, it broke. 900, 950, but still, it's some difference. Okay, so 39,000, maybe this is what we should target. Though it's still 800 going from 27 to 28. So it kind of makes it more beneficial to go towards 29. Okay, what are we, what are we doing here? Do this as well. Try to drop it down by even more. Do you see what I see? Oh, okay, okay. That that's my mistake. This only saves like 170. Uh, we can go one by one to see where. It, oh yeah, that only saves 30. <laughs> uh, 35 or so. Okay, we're not going to drop the displacement. We're going to leave it at 39,000. Maybe speed 29. This would be a damn fast ship. I mean, this is crazy, right? Why am I doing this? Why am I not instead building? How, how expensive would this be? Yeah, it's extremely expensive. Why not just get an armored cruiser instead? So we have in our minds now something which, by the way, I mean, we can continue to drop this. We would need to use the weight eventually here. 20, 24, okay, 20, 26. Mm, yeah, okay, this is a decent ship. 
But in my head, I'm just going to take a snapshot of this. We will not be building this. Oh, we will we'll use the incline belt as well, definitely. Or nothing, torpedo tents too. I think what we should do is actually go with an, uh, heavy cruiser. This is unusual for me, because I normally don't like them, but if we can build very fast, so we're looking at 20, speed of 29, we can get this at 38,000. Pretty expensive, 150 million. That is so expensive. Ay, yay, 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 yay. I think it must be mostly from the engine, too. Yeah, the engine, that's 1,000. Now we need 28 for the crossover points, so we're gonna leave the 28. But what can I get this down to? So have we done everything we wanna do? I guess in theory we would want some dual purpose four inch guns. Okay, we don't have the top side wave for that, but that's fine, we can fix that. Okay, good. And we have 800 weight remaining which will also drop down as we decrease the tonnage. Um, but let's do that. And there it goes, but it's, that's not too bad. So we can get this down to 36,000 and we'll have to drop this a little bit. Oh, okay, there it is, 1419. Still 140 available, which we don't need, but I guess pff, we do want a little bit, yeah. Why is it, okay, yeah, we want that. So we'll probably have to decrease secondary guns. The thing is with the second, with the with the fast attack roll, this thing's gonna be running up and doing some gunning on cruisers and stuff. I think that's actually pretty important. We'll drop this down to six dual purpose guns per side instead. Technically that gives us a little bit more weight to add two more, perfect. Man, I, I almost wanna save this because this is, we're getting it to be quite a nice design. Now, despite all those changes, and think about how significant that was, dropping the speed, dropping all these things. I mean, we're down to 36,000, which by itself is a loss in terms of hit points. And all we've done is knock, knock 10 million off the price. I don't know, it's hard to com convince myself that, that is worth it. But if I want a medium range ship that's able to go into other areas, and I want it to be able to take care of itself. So maybe this is the like long range, medium, well, medium range, but for us, that's long range. Maybe this is the long range ship that we're, we're thinking of building. The Prince von Salzburg is a, hmm. So let me save this as a uh, temp design. Fast BB, okay, temp fast BB. No, don't do anything with you yet. Just save it as is, Tempfast BB. 140, I mean, it's a good, It's. I think it's a good looking ship. One of the things which concerns me is the torpedo defense, although on a faster attack battleship, I could probably justify that. But now I, I needed to make sure I save that design before I open this one, because it would override it. This only has torpedo protection of two, doesn't have inclined belt. Yeah, this is, I mean, this is actually able to go elsewhere as well. So maybe what we can do is pair it with the, uh, an armored or a heavy cruiser or maybe a light cruiser. But I think that we don't have super firing on light cruisers yet. <clears throat> kind of evidenced by this, but we can kind of quickly verify this that we have no forward super firing. Okay, that's enough. Okay, so then I I'm, I guess what I'm leaning towards now is uh, a heavy cruiser of some kind. <clears throat> I want it to have four triple guns and maybe we can get away 639, 639, note to self 639, 639. Yeah, that's better. Let's move this up. Oh, well, I can't, but anyways, that's fine. So three, 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 three. We have some, somewhere over here, there's a superstructure. Yeah, that one that I don't like. Um, I'm 
We don't, it doesn't have any funnels, which is a little unusual. Huh, it's crooked even though I let it autofill. It's weird. I'm just trying to imagine it having a little stack up here. <clears throat> it's kind of unusual, but let's make this oval. And this one not oval. Something like that, who cares? Just give it a, yeah, you know what? I want these to be a little bit more forward. Okay, I'll make two of them. Since that's what's gonna fit. There it is, a unique design. I mean, this is 1927, we can have three funnels, why not? Okay, I don't think that we would have a superstructure like that. Be maybe more like something which flared outward and came back. There we go. In fact, I want to remove this one now. Just give it two funnels. No, let me just have it remove this one. I hate, I just always get caught up doing these silly things. All right. There, good enough. Now, let's um, take care of all the little things we want to take care of with this. This one should have dual purpose guns, absolutely. Um, we're okay kicking this up to like 14,000 tons. Um, I want dual purpose, I want them to be four inch guns. I want as many as we can. Uh, this will still benefit from six inch guns for the same reason I already talked about. It doesn't need to save itself as much, but it should still save itself. Uh, we want torpedo protection too, that's like a, a mandatory. Five, 2.5, this can go down to three. <clears throat> 5.5, 2.5, down to two. Needs to be at least 28. Uh, this is gonna be pretty expensive, huh? Let's go up to 16, just gonna preempt all the gradual increase of things that I'm gonna want. Um, I wanna drop this and increase this by two, or three, I should say. Now we have 13,000 tons to deal with. I would like to get more speed. How much is this gonna be? 500 tons, I will take that. How much is it from here? 700 tons. I may even want that. Um, we have nine inch guns, that's not acceptable. Let's go up to 11 inch guns. Now we're really talking about a oh, battle cruiser. So no, I don't want a battle cruiser. Nine inch guns. So if we do nine inch guns, it will not be able to do any kind of attacks. It will have no attacks of consequence against um, it will have no attacks of consequence against battle cruisers or, or, or capital ships. 11 inch guns maybe stand a chance. So I think this is gonna be an, a heavy cruiser killer. Let's look at the gun data, if I can find it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. So it fights well at long range against itself. Now, these are nine inch guns though. Let's look at 11 inch guns. Okay, so 11, so basically it will, it will just simply not be immune to anything that are not nine inch guns. Okay, nine inch guns. Well, you're kind of thinking right now, I mean, Historically, heavy cruisers did use a lot of eight-inch guns, so this is not preposterous to just put a whole bunch of nine-inch guns on here. Um, we would like the faster speed then. Mainly, it just, it really has to elude any capital ships. I don't know what's el what else is out there, but we've already set our battle line at like 24 knots. 30 knots would probably allow us, especially with the increased maneuverability of heavy cruisers. Um, this is not so expensive to build. We're down to 65, so we can get two of these for the price of one of those other battle cruisers. Always, we should make a mention of the fact that battle generator kind of um, values, or I, I shouldn't say values, but uh, lends more weight or more value to more higher quality or less qual higher quality ships than more lower quality ships. We'll do um, belt incline belt here. I think that it is better will increase the cost slightly, but in my opinion, it's, it's, it's gonna be helpful. 2.5 inch deck is much bigger relative to five inch belt, and it'll make this five inch belt effectively 5.5, so that's nice. I don't know, I like this a lot. 
and I see that we're running out of time here. Um, I can pick this name from uh, on the supporters list. There's several people who uh, wanted battle cruisers or faster ships, so I can pick from battle cruisers or heavy cruisers. Let's see what we have there. <clears throat> now, if we only have six double guns, I so I think we, okay, yeah, I, I have a huge change to make here. In fact, this is going to decrease the total size of the ship, but I think it'll be for the better. What I want to do is actually go down to four inch guns. Oh, I can't make four inch guns. There we go. And now we just pump as many of these things as we can. Blast effects from main batteries affect non case main secondary. What? Was this true even of the design that they had? I go back down to this. It will. R, W, oh, oh, this is fine, this is fine. I just need to change this turret, that's fine, just back to this. This is their way of getting you not to do what I wanted to do. Um, we'll make it a triple turret. So we'll sacrifice a little bit, now we can put these dual, as many of them as we want, I guess. Okay, it's not legal yet, but we're really on the, on the, the brink of it being legal. Okay, it's all okay. 300 tons remaining. Um, we're at 30 knots. This is, oh man. <laughs> Do we really have this? Oh no, not research revenue. Oh, that would have been perfect. We'll add those later. I'm expecting to add those later. Good dual purpose. Um, we can't put mines on heavy cruisers. Good torpedo defense. 300 tons remaining. I'm just wondering if we should go 5.5. Let's go to 5.5 and six and three. Uh, now we're overweight, but I actually don't care. I'd rather increase this um, than drop any of these things. I like the configuration. This gives us 50 weight remaining, which we can use, holy crap, to increase the ammunition. No, we need even more than this. Yep, there it is. Okay, there we go. Six weight remaining, is that gonna be enough to, well, it's not gonna be enough because what we're gonna wanna do is add surface torpedoes to this thing eventually. So let's just build in the weight for that. Yeah, I think we're fine here. How expensive are you now? 70, so you're now essentially half the cost of that other fast attack ship. Okay, so let's just call this temp CA, and I'll save this as well. I'm leaning more towards this, but I will kind of pull, pull at least, information from the comment section and see if I'm missing something or if people have opinions. Okay, another thing I would like to do is get float planes on this. I do want float planes. So how, we're gonna have to increase this by unfortunately quite a lot. But if this much as might be enough and then just get two, get one catapult. And check mark. Oh, okay. I don't know if I'd go with this exactly, but this is this looks doable to me. A lot of weight remaining, surprisingly. Too much, even. Yeah, we can drop that down. So let me save this as temp CA. And uh, yeah, we'll get your feedback. We'll come back next time. We'll see what to do with our soon-to-be massive increase in budget when the other ships finish. Until then, thanks for watching, stay safe, and take care.